What's going on guys? Welcome back to PHV879. Red Red Vision. guys welcome back to the channel on phv1879 guys where you find me in the kitchen why because look at this i've got a new delivery today guys i've got a new modification for my bike something different i haven't seen on a v-rod yet but also i've got some good news which is that part and i've got some bad news um it's quite funny to be honest but i'll take you to the garage take you straight through it here we go what's going on guys check that out so here we go we've got the one part over there and we've got the second part of it except when I got that delivered, I literally picked it up and I was like, I was like, oh yeah. I was like, why is it so light? What actually happened was, the delivery guy came over and said, oh, I said, oh yeah, great, got my package. He's like, yeah, but it's really light. And then basically, I opened the package, no word of a lie, no word of a lie, it's got nothing in it. The guy f***ed me over basically. So um, it's a bit crazy, literally trying to buy a set of handlebars for the bike. But literally an empty box all the v-rod um chats were just in hysterics laughing i was like what the actual do you know what i mean i was just like what's going on and um yeah it was about 75 pounds it's from italy as well you know you can buy it past from anywhere in the world basically but it's from italy well known source um used on the actual um on the internet on ebay five star rating all that happening it was yeah it looked legit and then literally literally Turns up, empty box, and I was like, what is actually going on? Top of that, emailed them saying, look, this is the, the problem. Contacted the courier. They said, okay, fine, we'll contact our delivery driver. They um, confirmed that the delivery driver said it was really light as well. And then, yeah, next step was getting hold of the actual um, the company itself. And, yeah, they um, they said, oh, they asked me questions, and obviously it was a bit tough because obviously their first, their first language is not English. I was patient and then I got really impatient because they kept saying you need to contact the courier and I said I have contacted the courier and they told me that the, the box was light and also there was there was um I, I said that the, the box had all this tape on it basically and it had a hole here now a hole there was there and plus it's still in there it's all in there all everything was in there and then basically the bubble wrap was um has a hole in it so I think someone has made a hole in the bottom of the actual box. And then, um, yeah, nabbed it, just nabbed it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Happy days for them, not so good for me. On top of that, on top of that, literally, I tried to email them again a week later, I was a bit patient, I was patient, they said to me, be patient. I said, yeah, that's cool, be patient. Next, next thing I didn't hear nothing from him, emailed a week later, this account has been removed off eBay for any selling pubs, whatever it might be. Yeah, so, um, literally. Um, but what else can you do about it? So now I've actually contacted um, eBay. They've said to me, get a fraud number or a fraud um, account number, which I have done so, and now I've processed that through. Now I've got to be patient and wait for a, um, I want it to be claimed. Make sure you buy it on your credit card online, guys, because if you don't, um, that could be a problem. And also, if the delivery drug driver turns up and it's an expensive package, make sure you open it in front of them too i've heard people do that as well that way you've got a witness to mention that you've actually opened it in front of someone 
who is not your um, other half or you know part of your family therefore your parts should deliver if they don't and you get basically f***ed over then yeah let it uh, let it yeah let them have it and um hopefully you get your money back but on to the next thing so i've got a new rear light for the bike sweet now you may think on the muscle it looks pretty sweet but it's a bit chunky and also um yeah you got the orange the black uh, the red sorry and the orange on the other side obviously it does look kind of cool without a doubt uh, for a standard um rear light however the new one i got fingers crossed it fits because it is a modification and you never know what you might buy the mods let's see if this video literally gets through so let me take you through to how i'm gonna take it off a little time lapse let's get this done shall we Right guys, I've got it on sort of, sort of. In this video, obviously you'll see it done properly, but I've got to get something to actually get it on properly how I want it to sit. Now I've actually, I've modified the mod itself. Um, first of all, I've got the actual standard light off. So standard light is off. Now it's big and bulky obviously, but um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I haven't put it on properly. So I have used tape basically on it right now. So you can see this is the strip. Now I took the strip off actually the um, the holder, the housing of it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some 3M tape and put it on the inside and then stick it to the actual, um, the bodywork underneath, which will be fine. That's how it was actually stuck on the other one as well. And then basically this here flexes around, around the actual um, bodywork itself. First of all, from a distance, it makes the actual, um, bodywork looks a lot more custom second of all if i turn the light on itself turn the lights on check this out this is crazy it looks so cool look at that that is crazy ain't it now that to me makes it look really futuristic from the back and the best thing about the indicators as well but i'll show you what it looks like with the indicator on look at that so the indicators are actually built onto the leds they can actually uh, flash yellow and um, they can be red obviously for a brake light too so I think that looks absolutely sweet it's going to be completely different now the reason why I'm actually doing this with the actual uh, standard body, standard bodywork is to make the actual standard bodywork as custom as possible but using all the standard bodywork itself with certain other things you can use on your on your V-Rod and you can use those on anything, on the actual, um, the night rod, sorry. Um, you can take the actual light out and fill it in and then obviously put these LED lights on the, on, on the actual rear of the light. And to me, it just looks a lot more cleaner as well. It just looks a lot more custom as well. And I reckon, I reckon people are gonna absolutely love this mod. Just like they love the indicators on the front, the, fr the front headlight with the mirrors and the rear, the rear um, fender, uh, light as well it's gonna look crazy I think and literally all I need to do is buy some 3m tape stick it on there that's really really strong um, sort the wires out and then basically it's done what's up guys in the local store looking for some double-sided sticky tape that's the ticket double tick double-sided we got it, we got it, we got it. Right guys, I've got it sorted out. 
I've actually just managed to do it. From here, you can't see the light. Nice and smooth, nothing at all. And what's particularly good about this, this mod right here, what's gonna make it look even better, I can't wait to see it at night, which I'll give you a video on, um, on it, on this video next. But you know, it's the light's not actually on the bodywork. I was a bit skeptical of putting it on the actual, the lip itself. So I've made a few adjustments basically to it. Let me show you what I've done. So I've got the um, the light actually. Turn this on. Turn the hazards on as well. How cool is that? It's actually on a bit of framework here on the inside of the actual um, bike itself. There's metal frame on the inner side, and I've just stuck it down with some Gorilla double sticky tape. And I reinforced it by putting another layer underneath with the back layer too. And I think it's gonna look crazy at night. Um, but yeah, I think it looks absolutely sweet there. Goes with the whole look, the round look on the actual bike as well. Um, it wasn't that easy as well, guys. It was quite tough. Now what I actually did is I modified the actual mod itself. So this was actually the, um, the frame the light was on. So it was actually on the outside here, all the way around. And it just does not go well if I was to put it there. It just doesn't, it doesn't actually feed well with the design of the bike itself. Because this is actually made for the um, the, the night rod special because um, of the actual rear. One of the guys has got it on his bike. So I've actually taken it off this and I've stuck it down on the actual bottom framework underneath it. So when I turn the bike off, it looks like there's no light at all. But when you're sat behind it, you can see the lights itself looks sweet i think what a cool mod that was um but yeah guys it looks crazy i absolutely love it it makes the it transforms the bike completely again from the rear so from the rear and the front now it looks completely custom with stock bodywork it looks it looks stock with the actual the framework with the actual body kit so this is stock that stock that stock but now taking the light off makes it look completely custom and it gives it a bit of a mean look, meaner look as well. So it's coming together fast. Um, and it was all just a cheap mod. I mean, that cost me 50 pounds for the LED light. And um, yeah, I mean, 50 pounds for an LED is is crazy. Um, I think it's actually 44, 45. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's all on. Don't ever be going crazy.